Welcome to a new video. Today I am going to show you my macro lens and I'm going to show you how I'm using my macro lens during a newborn session. But first, it's gonna be cake smash, smash time. The mom is bringing their own cake. The boys has some allergies, uh, so that's why. So lekker. Oh, wat lekker. Mag je dat opeten? Dat ziet er lekker uit. Ja. 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 Okay, so the cake smash session went really great. Such a beautiful little boy. First he was very serious eating the cake and then I put on some baby tunes. Just some music that babies really like. And then he started dancing a little bit and smiling as well. So crank up some music if your baby's really seriously eating um, to get him to smile maybe. So here I can show you my setup for the newborn session. Um, the mom has picked out some specific images for my website that she likes. So she wants to have this light purple backdrop headband here. I'm gonna get the outfit as well. And then I have like already some created sets that she really likes for my website. So it's this blue toned set, headband will come. It's this peachy toned set with this headband. And then she really liked the set on the dark wood with the felted leaf. Um, as a bonus, I might have the flocati ready and um, I wanna do macro shots. Okay, so as I'm waiting, I thought I could explain which macro lens I have. It's not a super fancy one, um, but I think it's nice. It works. So it's from a brand called Tamron. And it's a 90 millimeter macro lens, aperture 2.8. Yeah, I'll put the name of the lens in the description. There you can also find the camera, the softbox, the speed lights, some of the backdrops I use. So, um, yeah, it says ultrasonic silent drive and I will not use two bodies. I will just change lenses in the middle of the session. So I'm going to take out my 24 to 70 lens with the 90 millimeter lens on just to take some uh, macro shots of the eyelashes, the mouth, uh, maybe even the feet or hands. Uh, you can do ears, belly button, little nose, tons of options. But I prefer the eyelashes and the mouth. Those two are really great to photograph. Um, as far as settings, I have it on full autofocus. I might change that to manual focus because sometimes it's easier to manual focus uh, because you're so close to the subject and you want to decide what to focus on. Um, and I think this says like VC, it's something like vibrant reduction, but then I don't know what the C stands for, but it's on. Um, so yeah, that's the macro lens.
Well, now it's a new day in the studio and today again I'm going to use my macro lens and hopefully film it for you and show you the photos. Um, let me first show you the setup for today. So there's a little girl coming in and the parents have chosen like the sand colors. Uh, so we're going to start with this decor first. Um, got some wraps here. They've also chosen like some, you know, peachy pink colors and stuff. So we've got one decor here. And then uh, I'm cleaning my flocati at the moment. So this will be another decor, which I think is really beautiful with the peach and the gray. Um, here we've got, of course, another decor. And then here, this is gonna be my flocati set right now. So I might have to Photoshop a lot more of the purple around it, but as long as the baby's all covered in purple, um, well, like lying in there. This is like a faux fur, so this is not a real flocati. So yeah, the thing is with the macro lens, I have it for like, I bought it three years ago, maybe four years ago, and I don't really use it that often, just because I'm not really good at it. Like I'm not really comfortable with it, and that's my own fault, because if I just practice taking macro shots, I will get better at it and I will enjoy it more. So that's my goal for this year, uh, one of my goals, to use my macro lens a lot more. So yeah, I hadn't used it for a while because I would just take my uh, like close-ups of the face, you know, where you really focus on the eyelashes with my 24 to 70 millimeter lens, which I have on my sh uh, camera the whole session. I do an entire session with just a 24 to 70 millimeter lens from Nikon Aperture 2.8. Like I wouldn't switch during the session, I would just use that one. Also for the close-ups of the feet, um, you can take those shots with the 24 to 70 lens. However, if you really wanna take like an up-close um, macro shot of the lips of the baby, or just like only the eyelashes, the little hairs on the ear, um, you know, the macro lens will just take it up to a whole different level. And um, yes, it's beautiful. It just, it requires some practice, especially because normally I use the autofocus in my camera. So with the macro lens, sometimes it cannot really find the thing it's focused, like it, you want it to focus on. Like you want it to focus on the eyelashes when a baby hardly doesn't have any eyelashes or they're just not really that visible. The lens has a difficult time. The one that I have, the Tamron 90 millimeter, has a difficult time to find the eyelashes so if you are really up and close you know to the baby and you are uh, pressing the autofocus shutter button whatever um, it will just go back and forth because it cannot find anything to focus on so then uh, with a macro lens most of the time um, you are focusing like manually so you are finding the focus point maybe you have to take two three clicks uh, because it's hard to see if you really have it in focus maybe so if you just move it slightly take a click move it slightly the other way take a click then you have beautiful shots which are in focus I like it uh, also normally I would photograph with an aperture of 3.2 with a macro lens if you focus like if you are photographing with a very large aperture you really only have a very small part of your like photo in focus so if I want to like take a photo of the baby's mouth, I want to have a little bit more than just like, you know, I don't know, like one millimeter of the mouth in focus. I want to have maybe the entire upper lip or if you take it from the sides, just like a little bit more than just like a tiny line of the mouth, just a little bit more. So you can go to a smaller aperture, maybe 5.6, maybe even smaller. Um, that does mean that you might have to increase your ISO, which is okay. Like I'm using the Nikon D750, it's a full frame camera and it can handle high ISOs as long as you don't underexpose and then later have to brighten it up because then you will see the noise. So if you expose right uh, and you have a, lot higher, a higher ISO, it's not that big of a deal. So today again, I'm going to uh, take out my macro lens and I'm going to put it on my regular body in between the session which means that I only be taking macro photos at one point during this session because I'm not going to change my lenses back and forth just when the baby's on the beanbag baby's all comfy sleeping I will uh, swift like I will change lenses so on the same body I will use the two lenses uh, last session when I used my macro lens um, there were some other moments when the baby was like more relaxed and I thought oh this would have been a cool macro shot 
Uh, so maybe in the future I might have to use like my two bodies like I have the DE610 and then the D750 so I can use my both bodies um, and then both have the, the correct lens on it like one the 24 to 70 lens the other one the macro lens and then I'm, I can just like take up pick up one extra body and take a macro shot uh, while I'm you know changing setups and I think again it's a very cool macro point of view so uh, I'm not quite sure yet if I'm gonna Maybe I'll do that today as well. So I'm gonna get the other body. And then of course, uh, the file numbers won't be in order. So I will just edit at the end of my session, at the end of the gallery, you will have the macro shots. Because take them with a different camera so they won't be aligned when you sort them by file name and then rename them, whatever. Um, so yeah, hopefully I can film today and show you some more of the macro lens. A little bit messy behind me um, but I still have to get the hang of you know working with the macro lens it just doesn't come all natural yet so I still I love the images um, but it's just you know something that I can improve and uh, that's great we can always learn we can always become better photographers and that's okay so I'm going to go and look for some I don't know I wanted to say bugs uh, it's winter so I'm not gonna photograph bugs with my macro lens but like get some flowers and then photograph them with my macro lens and then um, maybe if I get one of my children to sit still to focus on you know photographing their eyelashes so I become faster at it more confident and I can use it more during a newborn session so anyway I wanted to share with you which macro lens I have and just something that I'm still struggling with um, you know we're all human beings we're learning from each other uh, encouraging each other, lifting each other up, motivating each other. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. I'd love to read your comments. Do you use a macro lens and which one um, during your sessions? Have you ever tried to use your macro lens for like a portrait photo session? Because I think you can. I've never done it, but I think you can. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments and then hopefully you'll see me in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.